get from this to this? Oh, I'm gonna tell you. So I'm gonna thread my arm through the dog's body like this and lift up and I'm gonna keep the, um, I'm gonna keep the leg as flat as possible. Use the wide part of my comb to comb everything down. I'm going to use my curved shears and go right across and cut anything that lays past the pad. Oh, oh, oh. So when I put his leg down, you're gonna see I already started a bevel back here and that's what I want. I want it to go up like a U. So step one is moving all the fluff off from the back. Step two is getting the front. Comb everything down and out with your wide part of your comb. Find the nail and cut straight across. I find the nail with my blade. go under and I scoop <laughs> like this. It's okay, Charlie. They're doing that. I'm going to lift his other paw. Now I'm gonna go in front of him and round everything out. So my goal is a cylinder. So right now you can see it goes straight down and flares out. It's gonna show. So you can see it goes down and out. So my goal is to just straighten it out. So that's what I'm gonna do with thinning shears. until it's a straight cylinder. I use a lot of thinning shears with drop coats because it's so easy to create a line that you don't want. Right now it goes down and out, so I'm just gonna memorize what I have to trim and then just trim it. It still splays out too much, so I'm gonna stand him up. And now I'm gonna go from this angle. Okay, clean up the inside. And now we'll get this angle. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Charlie. Clean up that angle. Here, let me. There we go, clean up that angle. Whoa, char char. Be a groomer, they said. Work with animals, they said. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Bubba. Okay. Let me just get a little bit more underneath here. And then I'm rolling my shears. Thrilled. Cute. 